But the thread that runs through all of yoga is chi. If you think about what is fasting, asana practice, meditation, and breathing, what do these things have in common? It's chi. So let's use the word chi. Chi is the postulated life force that keeps us alive, that forms the body. This is something that's open to scientific debate, but it's not an underneath debate with the yogis who have experienced it in every generation from time immemorial to now. Chi is a life force that keeps us alive, and when the chi leaves the body, the body melts and decomposes into a puddle of chemicals. So it's the chi that keeps this complex organization going all the time. But more than that, the yogis say chi is the energy that mediates between the emotional aspect of our existence and the physical, meaning that it shares both qualities. It is both a form of emotion and movement in the physical dimension, and it is physically affective. It affects the physical being. Yoga is trying in gradual stages to get us to be able to control our chi. When Patanjali outlined his eight steps of yoga, it was this slow progress towards getting more and more control over our chi. Because it manifests in different ways in different dimensions. So if you look at the eight limbs of Patanjali's yoga, the first two limbs are control your behaviors, which are the crudest manifestation of our impulses. Now, more subtle than that is not just controlling our behaviors towards others, but can you literally control your body's movements and tremors and your eyes and your ears? That's called sitting still. An animal can't do that, and an infant can't do that. An animal and an infant are going to follow everything with their eyes and every sound that they hear. It takes discipline not to be pulled in every direction, to hold your body still. The body literally wants to move with every thought and emotion. And if you've forgotten what it's like, drop in on a first grade classroom sometime. There's never a still moment. And they're not being bad. They're just vibrating with thought and emotion that's being reflected through their body. 